Um, first thing and foremost, I'm going to give all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. The wisdom of the gospel, brother, not the standard of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. This is the Aki of Mahalaya coming back with another lesson through the spirit. Lord's will be edifying. Uh, it says half of U.S. companies gearing up for layoff survey suggests. OK, this was an article that came out about three days ago. I believe that was Friday the 19th. Today is the 22nd, which is Monday. So this is a recent article article by the New York Post um, discussing and going into the pretty much the inflation and the job depreciation and the decline of the GDP which is the gross domestic product here in Babylon the Great. Okay, it was stated in a few months, I believe that the UK is going to see inflation rates up to 18.5%. Okay, as any brother out there in the UK knows how expensive it is to live a 18% inflation. Shit, man, that's a, that's, that's a, a dramatic increase. That's pretty much uh, double as to where we are now because now I believe we are like 9%, 9, 9, percent, nine something percent inflation. Okay, but 18.5%, that means that the cost of living is going to go up double all right, compared to what it is now because the collapsing of Esau society, like we're going to quote this devil again, Klaus Schwab, hey, he went into it, he said, hey, you will own nothing and be happy about it. So we're literally getting ready to have to weather a storm because like I did the entrancing earlier, uh, going into the storm is coming. You have some crackpot, some bug out. Gonna come on there and say, I am the storm. Well, hey, if you the storm, then how about you fucking tornado your ass off my comment board, man? And quit being a demon. Okay, you got these little maggots, these moles, and these trolls that come up in here thinking things is funny, but when the most high ignites you with that firestorm, then you're gonna be wishing you have thought otherwise. All right, but anyway, um, just to read the article, we're gonna get straight to the point. Um, it says, more than all half of US companies are planning to lay off employees as they brace for an economic downturn, according to the new survey. And hey, Esau is straight up telling you straightforward, it's coming out of the horse's mouth, that they're getting ready to shut things back down, okay? Everything may appear to be good, everything may appear to be moving, but like um, I was watching um, a video that the brother sent in a group chat earlier about how Esau knows that his kingdom is done. You know, they said that Americans, or the average American citizen, does not fathom the concept of a society being broken down because they was like, well, what about the Romans and the Greeks? And it was so funny and coincidental that he attributed those two endeavors into the two Edomite empires, okay, which was one of the greatest empires that was ever on the face, well, the wickedest, okay, of that time, okay, because the Greeks and the Romans had great significance, man, of their empires because they had what you call a monarch. Okay, they dealt with communism, they had monarchy, they, okay, they had uh, uh, globalization, they had all these things, okay, foreshadowing the come of America, because you have information out there, uh, 10 shocking parallels that the Roman Empire is, is paralleling the fall of America, so the same way that Rome fell, Babylon the Great is falling, because they're the same empire, just in different times, all right, so... 50% of U.S. companies, major companies, Walmart, Solanoff, uh, major, uh, major, major, uh, uh, what do you call these people? Major CEOs. And you know, if you're a CEO of Walmart, you're breaking, you making some millions in a year because Walmart, that's a company there that, that have money to give out, you know. But either way it go, these elites are preparing to flee because they know that they're getting ready to crash the society and they know all hell is getting ready to break loose. All right. But it says here, the Peace WC survey, which polled, fucking pollen, man, but it says, which polled 700 executives and board members across the U.S. found 52% of companies have already enacted hiring freezes. Damn, 52% of the companies. So it's something going on that your bosses or your CEOs are not telling you. Okay, like I said, man, and that guy mentioned earlier on the video that we were watching, he said, well, look, uh, they're just getting as much money out of this place until it's all said and done, okay? Because like now, employers got to keep up with the cost with other employers because they don't want to lose people, okay? Because, hey, they said a lot of people are re working remote. People, they're not trying to deal. You know, they got to pay higher salaries and they can barely afford to keep the doors closed. Like average job now is paying 2 or $3 or more. 
You know, they paying the two, three dollars more an hour just to keep employees. And this is their top performance and it's going to get into it. But it says uh, 52 percent of companies have already in. Did hiring freezes four out of 10 have rescinded jobs or act signing bonuses for new hires. Shit, just a year ago. And you getting up to ten thousand dollars signing bonus, man. Five hundred dollars, five thousand dollars, twenty five hundred dollars sign on bonus. You go work for the trash company. I think they give you like a like a thousand dollar sign on bonus, man. Okay, why? Because they need that's that's the real bait to get people in the doors. Because they feel like okay, we get people working, then more people will spend money, then the economy will continue to thrive. But see, what they don't understand is that the dollar that you're using, a fiat currency. That has no value to it and it's not doing anything but causing the, the, the prices of stocks and bonds and, and goods and other the commodities to become expensive because the elites, what they were doing, they were pretty much after monopolizing everything, they start to liquidate everything. OK, so basically they're selling off assets and they're keeping their wealth behind. So therefore, the dollar you're using in circulation is, is, is worthless, OK, because other nations, they're not really dealing with it anymore. And when Saudi Arabia pretty much started using the U.S. dollar, they stopped. That hurt Babylon the Great. So now they're going to have to lay off. All right. But it says, uh, it says, act signing bonuses for new hires and roughly half have started laying people off or preparing to cut the headcount. Okay. So here come wintertime. Hey, you may see a lot of layoffs, man. There's going to be a lot of filing for unemployment. And then you got to understand about the job force now. A lot of the labor market is pretty much depleted. Because after the pandemic, which we're still in it, allegedly, but uh, during that time, man, you had a lot of the labor force that decided to work from home because they were doing what they call a uh, share work leave program, which basically means that they were paying people to stay home. Like people were making more money sitting at home, getting a paycheck from the government before they go to work. They was like, why would I go to work and make $20 an hour when I could make $900 a week just sitting on my ass? And they took advantage of it, man. OK, so that crippled the workforce and then all the small mom pop businesses that shut down, they crippled it. OK, and you got Joe Beasy. <laughs> hey, two years. What? What is it? Twenty twenty two. Shit. Two years into his, his, his presidency, he's already been destroyed half the damn country. OK, so you Negroes out there. Hey, you feeling real sour now because you thought this guy Joe Beasy was going to make it great for you, man. You know, like he's talking about this is one of the greatest accomplishments we we've, we've accomplished as a nation. What? Uh, causing mass inflation, mass layoffs, mom and pop businesses losing, you know, all uh, because you decide to forgive a couple of hundred million dollars in student loan debt. Come on, man. That's ridiculous. But it says the grim numbers underscore how dramatically sentiment has changed from a year ago when employers were handwriting over losing staff amid the so-called great resignation. When employees left corporates in mass, right? And the great resignation is because people were tired. They were burnt out. OK, you have what they call a work and lifestyle balance in different countries, man. They, they have to take three months vacation off mandatory in places like Europe. You know, they get three months off mandatory. They're able to go home on their breaks and take naps and so forth. But here in Babylon, they want you to work, work, work. OK, like uh, when uh, one of the uh, trainer managers came up to me today, he said, how's everything going? I'm like, man, that's all right, man. You know, we got his ups and downs. He said, but yeah, you stick with it. You can make a lot of money. And back in my mind, I'm like, man, you saw you out your goddamn mind. But he was like, man, you know, we're having a meeting Friday, you know, and asking people what they don't like about the job and what they like about it. Because he said, we don't want to lose people because people have been walking out. OK, like they have to pay a lot of money to keep their employees, but they treat their employees like shit. Everybody's grumpy. Everybody's burnt out. You're working between 10 and 12 hours a day. I mean, yeah, the paychecks look decent, but at the end of the day, is it worth your peace of mind and sanity? You know, I'm like, I'll take a three dollar pay cut. Just driving around in a truck, checking water meters, not doing shit before I sit up here and slave all day. And I can't do a show. You know, I can't read. I can't study. I compensate for a $3 pay cut if I can just sit in the truck and go check a couple of meters and chill and drive around. I'll do that because it's no big deal to me. Shit. Hey, this is daily bread. And this place is finna fall anyway. You know, but hey, he's like, well, we're going to have a meeting and, you know, make sure you voice your concerns. I'm like, all right, say less. <laughs> you don't want me to get to telling my concerns in here 
But, you know, I ain't going to be on no crazy shit. It just, I, I really don't give a fuck. I'm just there to get my paycheck and go home. You know, I'm we're not committing to this this mediocrity anymore, okay? And that's the thing. There, Esau is upset because people is not committing to his labor force anymore because, hey, he once held the illusion of freedom and that American dream over people's heads. But when people realize that it was a crock of shit, it's like, they're like, fuck this money, man. I would just live on the goddamn bridge before I had to get up in the morning and slave for somebody. And that's the mentality, you know? So, yeah, brothers, it's getting ready to crash down, all right? But I got a precept here. This is the book of Isaiah 19. We're all familiar with this. Nothing too deep, but it's a good chapter. Isaiah 19 and 1, it says, The burden of Egypt, it says, The burden of Egypt, which Egypt is talking about America. Okay, America goes by several titles in the Bible. Egypt is one of them, one of the main ones. But it says, The burden of Egypt... But behold, the Lord rided upon a swift cloud and shall come into Egypt and the idols of Egypt should be moved at his presence and the heart of Egypt should melt in the midst of it. Right. The heart of Egypt, the mindset, because the Lord is going to literally melt these people. OK, with those laser beams, those timber beams from them chariots and also the nuclear missiles. OK, but it says, and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians and they should fight everyone against his brother. All right. Meaning riots. Brother, blood brothers, family members, you know what I'm saying? Once cousins, mothers, fathers, mothers, daughters, fathers, sons, you know, brothers, sisters, you know, and in, in, in talking about different ethnicities, you know, Esau going to be against Esau. It's really a, a war against Esau, against Esau, because if you look at the Edomite race, they're totally divided. OK, they don't like one another. They barely even tolerate one another. And what proves that is the Russian relations with the Americans, both for a bunch of damn devils. But they both are straight up odds with one another over world domination. OK, and the Lord is going to testify that hatred between these Edomites in the common days, the latter days, which we're currently in. All right. And it says here, and everyone against his neighbor, city against city, kingdom against kingdom. So there's going to be a lot of fighting on this planet as we are already seen. OK, and we ain't seen nothing yet. The Lord is getting ready to really turn up the, the, the pot, the powder pot, so to speak. It says and the spirit of Egypt shall fell in the midst thereof. And I would destroy the council thereof, and they should seek to the idols, right? Because, shit, when the Lord destroys these, these talking heads, man, you know, these witches, these warlocks, people are going to start praying to their gods, okay? They're going to start asking these particular divinations questions. People are going to be calling on Christ, Allah, and there's not going to be no answer from these deities because, hey, they're idols. They're dumb idols, which can't move, can't talk, can't think, can't see, can't breathe. But yet, people are going to still rely on them anyway because they don't know the true power of the Bible, which is Yahweh why Yahweh shy, okay? Who you ignorantly call God in Jesus Christ. And it reads, and it says here, and I will, it says, and to the charmers and to them that have familiar spirits and to the wizards, meaning they're going to consult witches, okay? Psychic, psychic mediums, spirit mediums, people that consult the dead, etc., and it says, and the Egyptians I will give over into the hand of a cruel Lord. <laughs> and a fierce king should rule over them, says the Lord, and the Lord of hosts, okay? And look who's ruling over you now. This guy literally signed legislation March 8th of this year about digital assets. And we know what that's talking about. For those of you that have been paying attention for the last, uh, what was that, 2000s, for the last 14, 15 years, the Great Awakening, if you've been paying attention to what the elder apostles have been saying, all the way down to, you know, us brothers that we've been speaking on this whole digital infrastructure that they're setting up. That's what this is all about. OK, they got to take everything away from the people. So the digital infrastructure, and I would say it that way, will be the so-called Superman that give you people hope. OK, but even in the midst of the digital structure being established and you're going to still have all hell breaking loose because even then the hell is not going to subside. It's going to get worse. And that's why it tells you in second address, it says, behold, victory should be so good, cheap upon earth that they should think they're in good case. But even then, evil shall multiply. Right. Because during the time of this uh, mandating of this particular device, you're going to have all hell breaking loose on all sides. OK. And that's like I said, that's going to be the the so-called Batman or the Cape Crusader of that day, because they may say, well, you know what? You take this thing, then we'll take seven hundred dollars off your rent. We give you six months free rent. OK, and you're going to have knuckleheads out there like our people. Oh, man, we're going good. But yeah, the pocket nuke just got detonated on your block. That's how stupid Jake is, man. You know, and it says here, and the water shall fail from the sea and the river should be wasted and dried up. Right, man, because, hey, 
these wars, okay? These rivers are going to be dried up. The Lord is scorching the earth, okay? You got rivers drying up in the Middle East, the great river Euphrates, which is prophecy according to Revelation 16. That's being drawn up as we speak, like the scripture said it will happen. And it says here, and they should turn the rivers far away, and the brooks of defense should be empty and dried up, and the reed and the flag should wither, right? Because, hey, you ain't going to have any particular uh, food out here. You ain't going to have any type of uh, seafood. You ain't going to have any type of uh, imports or outports coming from these particular uh, naval state or these particular, uh, uh, what do you call those stations, man, when they dock with the boats, them shipyards. And we saw that for two years in a row when they was literally not allowing stock to come into the country because they were just sitting out there in the Pacific Ocean. Okay. And it says here, and the paper reads by the brooks and by the mouth of the brooks and everything sown by the brooks shall wither. And even driven away and be no more, right? Because the Lord is going to take away the mirth. He's going to take away the timber. He's going to take away the the, the, the the glory of this place. You see, the food, one thing, the food, that's going to be the major thing that's going to set things off. Because um, inflation is going up. The price of good shit. Eggs have been, on average, well, I go, I think they're like three sixty nine a carton. Okay, I was getting eggs for $0.69 cent to like a dollar. A few years ago now, shit, a carton of eggs cost your ass between $2.69 and almost $4, man. And these are just for bare, these are just for the mediocre shit. This ain't even for the, for those brown eggs, okay, the better quality eggs. This is the low quality eggs, you see? But it says here, and the fishers shall also mourn, and they that cast anger into the brook shall lament, and they that spread the nets upon the water shall languish. And moreover, they that work in fine flax and they that weave networks should be confounded, right? Because your society is shut down like these manufacturing, these businesses, okay? Like a lot of times, like before, I believe they had to discontinue a whole production line of trucks because they couldn't get the devices in them to start the cars. Now they want everybody to get a seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000 uh, electric car. Who's going to afford that, you know? So production is shutting down here in Babylon. Quiet is kept, okay? Even the news is speaking on inflation. But yet they're still making it seem like, oh, well, unemployment is at, at, at its lowest time at 3%. Get the hell out of here. But yet you talk about inflation, people losing jobs. So how the hell is unemployment at 3%, man? And then you got these IRS bullies that's gearing up to literally come door to door, shaking people down for money, man. <laughs> so it's just like, man, this is getting ready to get bad. They're going to force you Americans you Egyptians, they're going to force you in the corner to the point you're going to have to fight back. Okay. And this is what Esau is trying to do. He's trying to start chaos and he's trying to order out of chaos. He wants to bring order out of chaos, man. He's trying to get you to riot. He's even looking like, damn, how much more I got to smack the people? I'm, I'm on the, how much more I got to fuck these people up before they realize that I'm actually playing their dumbasses? But like I said, as long as you niggas getting the paycheck every week, every two weeks, every month, then you cool with it. As long as you can drive around in your little hell kitties, your little hell kitties, <laughs> okay? Then, you know, y'all all good. Oh, gas down $3.32, man. I knew it, nigga. We were just paying a dollar forty-nine cent, like, not even two years ago. $3 is high as hell for some bullshit. And the gas burns a lot quicker. So what about that? You jakes are fucking crazy, man. You know? And it says, and they should be broken in the purposes thereof, and all that makes sluices and ponds for fish. But surely the princes of Zoan are fools, and the counsel of the wise counselors of Pharaoh is become brutish. So how say ye unto Pharaoh, I am the son of the wise, the son of the ancient king? Right. Because at the end of the day, all your wisdom, knowledge, your understanding, okay, all your work, your labors is all in vain. It's all in vain and it don't serve a purpose, okay? Basically, what people is doing is just maintaining. You're maintaining, okay? And that's all your people, they, that, that's, that's how they have it. You, you're maintaining. You're not living. We damn sure ain't living. The prophets of the Lord, we ain't living. We're maintaining and just barely getting by, okay? But we got the spirit of truth. We have the spirit of the Lord. We have the spirit of understanding, okay? We have the spirit of, of belief and faith. Okay, that's something far greater is coming than this. That's why we're hoping this place falls faster. Because what's happening? I, I, I pray inflation hits 75%. You know what I'm saying? I, the great reach. Hey, I'm with it. I'm with this shit shutting down, man. I'm with mass layoffs, man. I'm with it. But you know why? Because, hey, that's the closer we get that, the closer the kingdom. 
You know, but you people, you're not looking for the kingdom because you're wicked. And y'all know this is the best it get for you, man. Okay. But it says here, uh, verse 14, it says, The Lord have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst of Egypt. They have caused Egypt to earn every work thereof as a drunken man staggered in his vomit. It says in every work. Okay. Even a drug dealer is going to be out of business. <laughs> and I want to see how that's going to go when you niggas can't sell dope. You got to, uh, you got to start swiping each other's hands, man. But you know, Jake is crafty. Jake will figure a way out how to steal slain their drugs while we in a digital setup. It's going to be crazy. Niggas going to be Zemoing and all that shit. But, but low key, they going to get rid of all that. Okay. They going to get rid of cash app. They're going to get rid of Vimo. They're going to get rid of the, the, the bank. And they're getting rid of all that shit. You're going to have some type of device that's set up through CBDCs that you're going to have to do your transaction. And if the feds get whiffed for that, they're going to turn your shit off and they're going to come after you. So regardless, Esau is going to have this thing sewn to the T. But it says, neither should that be any work for Egypt, which the head or the tail or branch of rush may do. Okay. And this has already transpired, but the scriptures history repeats itself. You see, and it says here in that day, should Egypt be like some women and they should be afraid and fear because of the shaking of the hand of the Lord of hosts, which he's shaking over it. Right. OK, because this is a doing from on high. This is a doing of the Yahweh by Shimei Shai. They're stirring up the pot. OK, they're stirring up the kettles brook, so to speak. OK, and it says here in the land of Judah should be a terror to Egypt. And this is why you have niggas like the Kia boys. OK, you have uh, the niggas them snatch and grab niggas, man. Like what they call the sneaking geek. You know what I'm saying? Snatch and grab, sneaking geek, sneaking and geeking, man. Jake is all on dumb shit. That's why out there in California, they running, stealing forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 Louis Vuitton purses, belts, Gucci sandals and shit like that. Stealing over $300,000 worth of merchandise. Okay, following you rich devils home and beating you up, running you down, beating you out of the cars, man. Only thing it takes is a nigga to get high off some, hey, pop a couple of pills, drink a couple of brews and play GTA online and hey, niggas a full character, man. Straight up. All right. And it says, and everyone that make it mention of should be afraid of himself because the counsel of the Lord of hosts, which he have determined against it, man. Okay. So yeah, brothers, man, we in those times. So, hey, stay diligent, stay circumspect, stay in the spirit, you know, and, uh, hey, matter of fact, shit. Yep, I got one more. Uh, yep, I got. Matter of fact, I'll just read the rest of the article. I'll read the rest of the article, then I'm going to shut it down. But it says, nevertheless, companies are still trying to keep top talent happy with two thirds of employees increasing pay. Yep, they are. Expanding benefits or allowing more flexible work schedules for other workers. It says, some companies are embracing full time remote work as a way of keeping high performance happy. Remote work meaning that you're working from home. Okay, you ain't got to work. You ain't got to go to the office and deal with nobody bullshit. It says with 70 percent of respondents said that they're increasing remote work options and flexibility. And 61 percent of employers stated that they're requiring employees in collaborative roles to be in the office more. That's you low level people, the people that got to take the bullshit. You ain't getting no remote position. Your supervisor may get it, your boss, but you're not getting it because you got to wake up in the morning while they on an eight to five schedule and they comfy slippers and drinking their fucking lattes. You waking up at the sound of the bird, man, you know, and it says here, but 31 percent of companies are spending more money to increase their real estate footprint. Like they're building up a lot of property here in Kansas City. And I'm scratching my head like, how the hell are they going to get all this done in time? You know, like they got this stupid ass streetcar shit they've been building up. I don't think they're going to finish it. But um, it says unemployment remains historically low across the board, which that's a lie. But major corporations are gearing up for economic contraction in recent weeks. With notable companies like Walmart, Apple, and Oracle have made headlines for axing corporate staff. <laughs> yeah, because these are fucking five, six hundred thousand dollar paying devils, man. They're getting half a million dollars a year just for fucking coming up to work and pushing a button or giving orders. While there are people that's working in the retails, the average Apple employee probably only make fourteen, fifteen dollars an hour. But you got a nigga up top that don't know nothing. He's bringing in fucking six figures and some and shit. Have the bonuses. They getting sixty, seventy thousand dollar bonuses, man. Jake ain't making that a year. And what you get on your bonus? One hundred and fifty dollars. And you the one that's out there busting your ass, man. That's why the scriptures say, "Hey, man." And uh, James the fifth chapter, woe to them that is rich. All right, but it says, "Uh, Sethi sympathizes." 
the importance of handling sensitive situations like laying out workers or rescinding offers in a professional way and not cutting costs in the short terms in a way that would damage companies' reputations down the line. It says people have long memories and social media plays a bigger role now. All right. But yeah, brothers, man, that's all I wanted to really go into. Giving all praises and glory and honor that's due to you. How about you? How about you? And with that, shalom and the bubble ball.